Hey guys, it's your girl, Just Call Me Diamond, AKA Diamond, back with another video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this cute, short ponytail. Let me tell y'all real quick. This hair is bomb. Like, it was only $35. You get three bundles. It was an 18 inch, a 16 inch, and I think it was a 14 inch. However, I only used the 18 and the 16. Um, I ended up cutting it though, so I probably just could have used the 16 and the 14. It just depends on what you're going for. You know, once I did it, the curls came like right here, but I pulled it up and I just like the much shorter look. It gives you volume. I love volume, big hair or go home, period. No, but <laughs> today, yes, I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this look. I did not use any heat whatsoever. I did blow dry my hair, but that is about it. Um, So definitely stay tuned, but oh my God, like I love this. This is about to be my go-to hairstyle, like period. When I can't get my hair done, like it is so cute. Um, I'm definitely going to try this brand out, uh, in a couple of different curl patterns. It is organic or, or, or neat or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to definitely, uh, link the hair brand down below in this curl pattern that I use. Um, it was definitely easy, uh, to work with, to cut. The hair is very soft. It does not feel like synthetic hair. Although I believe it is synthetic, you can put heat on it up to 400 degrees. The hair is not shiny at all. Um, I like it. I think it's gonna last like for a while. Like I think if I took this ponytail down, I could probably use this hair again. That's, that's how good the hair is. It's so soft like I'm literally raving about this hair. I might even do a half up, half down style, but enough of me just going on about nothing. I pretty much said all I can say about the video. I mean, about the hair. So let's get straight into this ponytail. So first and foremost, I'm going to start by detangling my hair with a shampoo comb. Then I'm going to go into parting my hair from ear to ear. I'm going to first work with the back half and then work with the front half when I do this ponytail. It just makes it easier for me to manage my hair because it can be a little rough at times. And guys, I'm definitely going to speed this video up because I know y'all don't want to sit here and watch me do my hair all day. So just sit back, relax, watch me work, and I'll explain everything as we go. So basically right here, what I was trying to do is figure out where I wanted my ponytail to sit. And I wanted it to be extra high. So what you see me doing right here is going back in, adjusting my part so that my ponytail can be sitting. Okay, honey, I wanted that thing sitting on the top of my head. So yeah, I went in and adjusted it. Y'all, I use that extreme gel because that's what I normally use on my hair, but for some reason it did not work. I think it was because my hair was a little bit damaged. I hadn't had my ends clipped in so long, but it made my hair super wavy. So my suggestion would be to not use the gel, just use the jam that you'll later see in the video or use the um, even edge control that I use. It works wonders it will have your ponytail looking sleek What you don't want is a ponytail that is too tight so if you feel dense lumps near the part of your ponytail or even just too much tension you definitely want to loosen that ponytail up because you don't want to cause any hair loss okay like i stated earlier applying gel to the back of my hair did make my hair curly 
So what I did to fix that is apply a little bit of jam and some holding spray by Gossipy Be Glue. Then I applied some heat to it with a blow dryer so that it could hold my hair in place and have it doing what it's supposed to be doing, okay? Y'all know we gots to pull out the hairs. We gots to pull out the hairs to make us some baby hairs. What is a ponytail without baby hairs? So that's what I'm doing here. I'm also using that gots to be glue right now. I'm sorry, not the gots to be glue. I'm using the jam right now to apply to my hair. And as you can see, it's not making my hair wave up too much. It's actually giving me the sleek look that I desire. So, you yeah. know. Y'all, this even edge control is the best edge control I done came across thus far. I don't have no heat on my hair, and it still lays my edges good, okay? Y'all, my camera died, but what I did was apply some Gossipy Glue holding spray onto my hair, wrap my hair with some neckties just to set my edges in place while I did my ponytail. Y'all, this next step is very important if you want your bun to sit up high and be strong enough to hold two bundles. So what I basically did was folded my hair in half and applied about five scrunchies. This elongated my bun and made it very sturdy. So to protect my bun, I tied an neck strip around it and put a little bit of glue on the end just to secure the neck strip onto my bun. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my ponytail using hair glue. Pieces and pages. 
So I started with the 16 inch, I folded the track in half, I put a bobby pin at the center and applied that to the top of my bun so that when I bend down or anything like that, you never see my bun at all whatsoever. Then I began to place glue on the track and wrap it around my bun until I put the whole entire bundle on my bun. And right where I left off at, I'll begin to apply my 18 inch bundle and you'll see that in a few moments. And just keep in mind to apply most of the hair in the bundles you have to fold the width in half and double it as you apply it on your hair or you will not get majority of the hair onto your bun because you will run out of space I forgot you love me, you love me, you love me. So when you get to the end of your last track, you're gonna take a nice thick piece of hair and you're going to smooth it out apply a little bit of jam or a little bit of the even edge control with some holding spray onto that piece of hair this is the hair that you're going to wrap around your ponytail so make sure it's nice and smooth Jerome Fandle Run fast from a day job Running fast from the way it was Jump quick to a paycheck Running back to the strip club I'm never going back, never going back No, you can't make me so once you get to the end of that piece that you're wrapping around your ponytail, you want to apply a generous amount of holding spray and some heat just to set it in place. And boom, you're basically done, girl. Then you just cut and style your hair to your desired look and length. I fit enough of petty dudes. I put enough of shitty news. I had a thing for dirty shoes since I was saying love dirty men alike. Y'all, I personally didn't know exactly what I was going for, but I knew that I wanted my ponytail to be high and kind of big. So I ended up taking off a lot of the length because the length was just making the curls too uniform and I wanted my ponytail to be more fluffy and big. Y'all, this is pretty much what it ended up looking like that night. I wasn't 100% satisfied, but I was tired, so I went to sleep. I ended up waking up the next morning and doing a little bit more cutting. And shortly, y'all, to see how it turned out. Gotta shift to 10 a.m. Yeah. Gotta dip at 10 p.m. Uh -huh. Gotta get that cash. Won't get past the lunch break. I ain't had a smoke break in about two days. And guys, when you're cutting, make sure you cut at an angle and kind of wave your scissors back and forth across the hair because what you don't want is a choppy looking ponytail. 
so guys here is the final look yes i'm loving it okay definitely tell me if y'all like this if y'all try it out tag me on instagram or my social media information will be down below send me pictures because i want to see but anyways make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time bye Still love and still love